Hey everyone, welcome to week one of our of term four. You know we're back. It's Friday today, and um, I've actually we're going to do a PDHPE lesson, uh, which I think is really important. I think we want I want uh, one of the things we wanted to make sure we did this uh, this term as we we're coming into another another set of learning was to sort of try and incorporate a little bit more of our regular lessons that we would have done. Uh, if we were sitting inside the classroom, but we're having to do them in a slightly different way. So just like you're doing spelling now, probably, and you're you're going to be working with those, we're also going to be doing a bit of um, our health lessons. So one of the things that I am going to spend some time on throughout this term, or at least for the next few weeks anyway, is looking at relationships. Uh, I think this is really important, especially in a few different reasons. We, You know, one of the things we've got really close with um, people in our lives who we live at home with, okay? So over the last few months, over the last term, you've seen them so often. Um, and that is a, that's one type of relationship. There are other relationships as well. You've got your cousins and you've got your, um, you know, and you've got your family members, you've got your friends, people who go to a footy club with you, um, you know, all of those, you know, people at church, those are all relationships as well. I'm not forgetting that we have a the relationship with you know the, our Lord and Maker, you know our God, and so that is also the difference between you know in Christianity, you know we have a relationship with with God, um, but we're not so much talking about that relationship. That relationship has been created by God, um, and that's what we're looking at. We're looking at create. We're looking at relationships that we have with other people and other um, and people who are your age, uh, sometimes older, sometimes younger. So we're going to be looking at that, and that's something that we would be doing in a classroom setting as it is. It's really important for us to consider what we understand to be a relationship. Sometimes when we use the term relationship or we look at it on TV, it's not so much what it is that we're talking about now. It is that brother, sister, family relationship. It can be, you know, um, it can be, um, you know, for mums and dads or, or fa you know, father, father and son, father and daughter. Uh, mother and daughter, mother and son relationships as well. Okay, so relationships cover any time that we're interacting with other people um, when we're talking about this. So that's what it is. That's how we're focusing our, our learning on this at this time. So we're going to, I want you to start off. Now I've actually attached this video. So this is where you need to stop this video, hit pause, watch the, the very cranky bear, okay, read to you. Um, and then I want you to do some thinking, okay? When you, when you come back to this video, come back here, press play again, and we're going to go through a couple of questions that I want you to answer. I'm not going to give you the answers to this one because this one's about you. I'm going to then tell you how, something else a bit later. So go away, uh, hit pause on this video, go out to our on our classroom learning and hit the link to watch this, uh, and then come back here as soon as that's done. All right, see you in a minute. All right, you should have you should have hit play back on us now. Okay, so we're back. You just watched the very cranky bear, a bit of a funny book there. Very exciting to to sort of sit there, but it's also it might come across as simple, but there's a couple of key questions that I want you to answer, and I'm not going to give you an answer for them. Okay, so that's really clear. I'm not going to give you an answer for them. You may want to, um, you, you know, when we come on to these next questions, we're going to look at these questions here, and these questions are all about uh, what we saw in the book, okay? And why I'm not going to give you the responses is because even in class, I would be getting you guys to talk them through. So at the moment, we can bring some of these questions up later on in our, in our, um, you know, in our class call or something like that if you want to bring those up. We might, that might be a good idea um, if you do that with your teachers, um, if you have a question about it. Or we can talk about, or, or maybe you can talk with your um, parents about it. They could watch it as well, um, or your brothers and sisters. Because let me tell you, this idea of having relationships, we're looking today at the idea of conflict. Now, we, we always look at the good side of relationships, and that's really good. We get to support one another. But sometimes when a relationship doesn't go the way that we want, we have conflict. And so this first question that I wanted you to look at was, what were the signs that you saw that conflict was developing and what were those conflicts? Now, I've just noticed that I have, I'm going to draw this in here because I'm just going to edit this for a second. 
do some editing of my own. That should be a question mark. Mr. Hosking, whoops. Okay, so that's a question mark. So what were the signs that you saw that conflict was developing and what were those conflicts? Okay, so if you're a person who likes to write things down, grab a piece of paper, grab a, grab a booklet, write this down, somewhere where you can hold on to it, maybe take a photo later on and share that with us. Um, or if you just like to chat, go and chat, you know, ask someone who's watched this with you, maybe your brother, your sister, um, your mum or your dad, um, just to, yeah, what was it that you actually saw? What were some of those signs? Because some of those signs are going to be important. There may be some signs that you see within your own family. Okay, maybe someone looked like they were getting angry. That you look at that, you look at the look on this bear's face. Okay, it could be that you know that was one of the things that you saw. That might be a sign. You look at the body language here, the arms on the hips. Okay, we have that as well. Okay, are there other signs that you can look at? Then what were the conflicts? What were the things that they were getting upset about? All right. Hopefully, if you need a bit more time, hit pause, okay, and you can do that, then come back. But could these characters have come up with a way of preventing those conflicts? What is it that they did that made it worse rather than making it better? What are some things that we could do to do that? Okay, now... Like I said, I don't want to give you the answers for this. This is something that I want you to interact with and, and, and think about. If you have to go back and watch the video again, that's fine. Go back and watch the book. It's only about three or four minutes long. Okay, and that's something that is really important. What is it that the conflicts were? Could they have prevented them? Preventing just means to stop, to, to not let them go any further. You know, um, an example in your, in your household, in your family, it might be that with your brothers or your sisters, you know, rather than keeping on repeating the line that you know is upsetting them, you know, maybe you can stop and you can and you can just change the, change the topic. And then the next part, did the characters involved um, have, oh, sorry, what was it? Uh, did the characters involved, um, could they have resolved the conflict by themselves or did they need someone else's help? The main, the main point of that question, I just realised I merged two questions there, but the main point of that question would be, you know, did they do it by themselves or did they need help? Okay. So um, did they need help solving or resolving the conflict? So did they need some help? Or did they do it by themselves? Was it something they could do by themselves? All right. Those are those three questions that I want you to look at with the, bear, with the very cranky bear. Now that you've had that in your mind, okay, here comes the lesson. Okay, so that was your thinking. That was you getting you thinking about the fact that there is conflict that sometimes happens within relationships, times where we don't get on with other people the way that we know that we should. Okay, the Bible talks about the fact that sometimes we have problems that happen, okay, because there is sin in our world, okay? But it says that we should always start from a place of love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself, okay? So if we're going to love the other person, what are those things that we're going to do to make sure that we don't have those conflicts? It doesn't mean that we don't stuff up sometimes. We Sometimes we make mistakes, but what is it we're able to do? A lot of the time, that first thing is, just like we need to do with God when we do something that we know is wrong, we say sorry, okay? We say sorry. So I want you to think about that, see if that comes in. Now, there are a couple of ways that we can deal with a disagreement or a conflict, okay? And so here we've got some pictures to align with that, okay? So we've got the idea of we've got an aggressive way, okay? Sometimes we'll find out, you know, aggressive. I want you to think. And aggr aggressive is a bit like a lion. A lion is often, you know, growls and roars, okay, and it's an aggressive way. So we can deal with, with, um, with a conflict or a disagreement in an aggressive way where we get heated under the collar and we feel upset. You know, that's one way. I'm not saying that any of these are better than the other. We're going to talk that through in a moment. 
Okay, the next way is what's called passive. Now, passive, okay, I'm using our meerkat here. We're going to look into that, what that is. But passive is that idea that, you know, it just we just let it wash over us. You know, we just ignore it almost. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. Let's have a look into that. What do you think? And then the last one is being assertive. Now, the assertive character in ours is a giraffe. Okay, so we're going to look. Which way do you believe is better? Do you believe that we're going to be like a lion and we need to deal with this problem in an deal with problems in an aggressive way? Do we need to deal with problems in a passive way? Where, you know, or is it going to be in an assertive way? Let's have a look at what each of these are. Okay, so this is the lesson today. We're going to break this down. So the lion, is this you? The lion we're using as the aggressive one. So only interested in winning an argument. Okay, so we know that we're being aggressive or that, it, that this is a way that if we're only interested in, in winning an argument, we're not worried whether or not we hurt others, okay, whether we're hurting others' feelings um, or we, th and then they threaten or hurt people to get their own way. Now, does that sound like, does that sound like love? No. Okay, so I think we can agree that the lion, the aggressive way of dealing with our with a disagreement is not going to be the way that we should be going about. We shouldn't only be interested in winning. We should we should care about others, okay, and how what and how they feel. And we don't we should never threaten or hurt people. That's not the way that we should be doing that. Okay, so always come back. Does this show love? Okay, and in our case, I think we can all agree that that's not the way that it is. But we do need to be able to notice what how it's being done because sometimes it teaches us about someone, about other people. Okay, the meerkat, maybe this is you. Okay, I love meerkats. I don't know. I went to the zoo with the year ones, year twos uh, earlier on the year. We saw the meerkats and that was a lot of fun. Okay, so the passive person, so like the way that we can deal with it might be in a passive way. So we're scared of disagreements. Okay, you pretend that the disagreement isn't there. Maybe you just sort of like, you put up a wall, you pretend like it's not there. You run away or you leave. Okay, you give you give in too easily because you might lose a friend or because it is frightening to you. Now, this might be the way that you feel. Okay, and that happens sometimes when we're just not sure of things. So when we're not sure of things, what happens is that we get scared of the disagreement. Maybe we pretend like it's not happening. Maybe you just want to ignore that it's going on, okay? And that's not the way to do it either. Maybe you run away or you leave, okay, and then you give in too easily, okay? So is this a way to do it? Again, is this showing love in a relationship with someone else? Does this show that you care about them or that they care about you? Because remember that all of what we do, okay, God calls us to love others, that's the best way that we're able to come back into this. Okay, does this show love? Or do we have the giraffe, or are we like the giraffe, an assertive person? Do you stand tall? You stay calm. You try to sort out the argument, okay, with solutions where both people win. Okay, you say sorry. Ooh, hang on, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, when you're wrong. That means you have to admit that you're wrong. I don't know about you, but sometimes that's hard. You know, do you ask for help to sort things out when you need it? You maybe use, you know, like in the in the cranky bear, someone else was needed to help sort it out. And that's okay too. Okay, and maybe you think about, you know, it says what it uh, what they think and, and feels without getting angry. So we're able to have emotions and feel a certain way without getting angry and upset. Now that's not easy. Okay, most adults that you know are still learning how to be assertive, where you stay calm, you try to sort out an argument, okay, with a solution where both people win. That idea that it's actually a it's actually a win-win. Okay, it's not you're not having someone who's losing in this situation. You want to have that idea of someone being able to win. I mean, or both of you. Okay, there is always an optimum output, you know, an outcome. 
sometimes it doesn't feel that way. Sometimes we do have to compromise. Okay, so you don't quite get what we're wanting, but we also don't get what we don't want. And these are really hard. Okay, I want you to think. I, this one here, does this show love? The answer is yes. This not only shows that you love the person, but also that they love you. And the relationship should be showing both ways. If you're having a situation where you've got a passive, uh, you know, a passive uh, way of dealing with things, or whether or not it's aggressive, those two are actually not showing love. And that means that the relationship needs to have work done on it. Now, that's not easy. That's so hard. And it often comes down to the fact that we have to do this. You say sorry when you're wrong. We have to admit that there is a mistake on our part. So that's the learning that I wanted you to do today. So I want you to be able to notice what it is, you know, what sort of a, a, a response are you getting when you have a problem? Maybe it's on how you respond, also on how the other person responds. Okay, it doesn't mean that you call the other person out on the way they're being. You need to bring that to atten their attention and deal with that. But you'll probably need some help to do that, and that's okay. That's where you ask other people to help. You know, you ask people you trust, teachers, parents, to help you work through that, you know. And so that's what we need to think about. Now, today, we're going to have a look at these scenarios, okay. You're going to have a sheet that you can click on. And I want you to have a read through them. I'm not going to read through these for you today. I'd like you to do that. And I want you to answer them. So scenario one, okay, I want you to put this down into the sheet, fill that in. Okay, once you've done that, you've got scenario one, scenario two, and scenario three. Okay, now I will do another video where it sort of goes into those, but I'm not going to read these out. I'd like you to have a read through them, work out which way, you know, which person is dealing with it in which way. Are they, being are they being aggressive? Are they being passive? Are they being assertive? And, and I like this, what should they do to deal with it like a giraffe? Because remember, this is the one, okay? We're always wishing, we're always, well, not wishing, we're praying and we're working on ourselves to make sure that we can be assertive, that we show love to everybody because remembering that that's what God called us to do. All right, big lessons today, okay? I look forward to seeing those responses. I will put up a video where we can talk through what the answers should look or could look like. It doesn't mean that, that these are the only way that we can solve them. Okay, but have a look at that. That's your task for the next sort of 10, it'll probably take you about 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to go through if you're focused. Don't get distracted. Enjoy this time. Okay, looking at how you can do that and then see if you're able to apply it into your situation at the moment. Because that's the test. Can you start to look like the giraffe where it comes into the assertive um, behavior? Not the aggressive and not the passive. Okay, we don't want to be fearful. Okay, we don't want to make other people fearful either. Okay, we want to make sure that we keep calm. We can talk about things uh, with very even emotions. Okay, and that will, that will hold you instead, okay, for a very long time in your life. Like I said... It's not going to come easy. There's a lot of adults who can't do this yet as well. So you guys are getting a bit of a head start, okay, and it may be that one day you're going to be able to teach some of us adults how to behave better. All right. Awesome lesson today, guys. I really hope you gained something from that, okay, and I look forward to hearing about it. Make sure you ask any questions that you have, okay, jump on to the times when, we, when the teachers are on online and you will be able to talk that through. Have a great day and we'll talk soon.